All right, so the Final Fantasy 16 news just keeps on rolling in. We've got some updates today in regards to that long-awaited Final Fantasy 16 demo, and also some news on whether or not 16 will receive any DLC. If any of that sounds cool, feel free to click the like button, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe as well. So, starting off with that first bit of information in regards to that Final Fantasy 16 demo. So, we know that Yoshi P has said that he wants to try to get that demo out around two weeks before the game's full launch to really help build up a ton of hype for the game's eventual release. And as of right now, we still don't quite have a date on when that's going to come out. However, we do have some info on what that demo will contain. This is coming to us from Audrey on Twitter, where she was able to kind of source some info from a few different websites here and there. And according to her, the demo will cover the intro of the game that follows Clive's youth. Your save data will also carry over to the actual game, which is really nice. This is something that Square Enix has been doing for quite a long time, not just the whole demo thing, but allowing you to play basically the first part of a game, save your data, and then if you want to buy the game, the data that you accumulated in that demo will then carry over to the full game. So that's really nice. It's going to make things a lot easier. <laughs> I think it will allow people to kind of jump into that demo, get a good feel for it, and then should they buy it, they're off and run into the races. That's pretty cool. Second, the intro in the game is very cutscene heavy. Yoshi P thinks that Final Fantasy is known for its cinematic sequences, so the team delivered that for Final Fantasy 16. And then of course, the battle system is very similar to Devil May Cry, which we all kind of knew that already. <laughs> There's also been some information uh, flying around that the demo itself might be pretty chunky, a few hours long, with the beginning being pretty cutscene heavy, that makes a lot of sense. I think they're gonna basically set up the entirety of Clive's story in that very beginning of the demo, because he is going to be younger. We might actually see all of the events unfold, uh, that tragic night that Joshua is murdered. So it sounds like there's gonna be a lot packed into this demo, which is super cool. Now, there are some people speculating online that perhaps that demo will get announced at the PlayStation Showcase and might even be made available on the same day. So we're gonna check out that PlayStation Showcase tomorrow or whenever I upload this video, it might be today, <laughs> who knows? and uh, we will await an announcement there in regards to that demo for 16. Now moving over to the DLC news, this is coming to us from Game Informer. Uh, Game Informer has been doing their uh, monthly series coverage on Final Fantasy 16 and I want to give you guys a warning. <laughs> if any of you plan to check out that Game Informer coverage, a lot of the preview stuff is super spoilery. Uh, I glanced over some of it, I read the comments, and there was a lot of people saying like, hey man, <laughs> you guys put a lot of spoilers in this coverage, so read at your own risk. But what we're going to be talking about today is fairly spoiler free, and it's going to be whether or not they have any plans for DLC for Final Fantasy 16. Game Informer spoke to the game's director, Hiroshi Takai, as well as the game's producer, Naoki Yoshida, Yoshi P, and this is what they had to say. It's a one-off game, Yoshida tells me. We're asking players to pay the full price for this experience, and so we want an experience that's going to equal the amount of money that players are going to be paying, and we want them to have satisfaction equal to what they paid or even more than that. Sakai and the rest of Creative Business Unit 3 speak to reiterate that they created Valisthea to be vast, and it's a world the team would like to return to. They get the sense that if the demand is there, the dev team will be ready at any moment's notice to return, perhaps through DLC, or maybe connecting to the MMO aspect of things, maybe even making a connection to Final Fantasy XIV. Yoshida goes on to say, We have no idea if people are going to fall in love with Valisthea and fall in love with Clive's story, and want to see more of the world and more of its characters. So while we always Always want to consider DLC or spin-offs or those types of things where you can learn more about the game, first we want to see if Valisthea and Clive are really things players around the world want to see more of and then make that decision. So it honestly kind of sounds like a wait and see approach for right now. But what is really nice and reassuring is that as of right now it feels like Final Fantasy 16 is one complete game. It has a beginning, it has a middle, and it has a definitive ending for that story. But should the game come out and do gangbusters, <laughs> like Square is probably hoping, and it somehow sells like 10 million units in its first month, you can bet your balls they're going to want to plan some sort of DLC. So as of right now, it seems like it's kind of up in the air. I have a feeling the game will do well enough to where people will connect with Clive and the world and want to see a little bit more, and perhaps then they could maybe go for some DLC. But as of right now, apparently there are no plans to 
do DLC for 16. So with that being said, that is the video. Please let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Are you guys waiting for this demo? Do you think that perhaps it will get announced at the PlayStation Showcase? Or do you think maybe they're gonna wait until the first or second week of June to really get that demo out into people's hands? And what do you think of DLC plans? Is this kind of reassuring to you that they don't have any DLC planned? It kind of lets me know like, okay, this is gonna be one complete experience. They're not really thinking about DLC or cutting content to put into you know a DLC pack. It's gonna feel like one complete game. Let me know in the comments down below. I am Curious Corduroy. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.